and welcome to 4-inch cats. Today we're going to look at ways to tune your baritone ukulele by ear tuning to itself. These little electronic tuners are definitely very very handy but if you're like me they get misplaced, they get lost, you forget to change the battery, you leave them at home when you go out, you leave them out when you come home there's quite a variety of reasons why you might not have your nifty handy tuner on hand. But it's still really important to keep our ukulele tuned when we play. So, what can we do? Well, first of all, let's talk a little bit about tuning an instrument. Now, these tuners are tuned to the pitch of 440 hertz, which is also referred to as concert pitch for example, is so that I can tune my ukulele, my dad can tune his double bass, and then when we get together, we're both in tune and we can play. Fantastic. Not so important to be at 440 when you're playing on your own. And sometimes you're going to need to be able to tune your ukulele without using an electronic tuner. So, how do we do this? Right, the first thing we need to know is what notes are the open strings of our ukulele? D, G, B, E. The mnemonic I used to remember this, which I must admit I stole from my husband, he came up with a great idea, is don't get baritone NV. D G B E makes it quite easy to remember. So if we don't have a tuner, we need to make sure that the ukulele is still in tune with itself. And the way to do that is to tune everything using the strings we already have. So this is my D string. How am I going to use my D to tune my next string? which is a G. I need to be able to find the note of G on my D string. Now if you know a little bit of music theory you can work it out. If you don't know music theory then perhaps memorize the frets that I'm going to use. Although personally I think a little bit of music theory goes a long way. So open is D. D sharp E, F, F sharp, G. So I'm on fret 5 of my D string and that gives me the G note. Fourth string, third string, fourth string, third string. So so I can now tune my G string from my D string. Fantastic. So now I move down to the G string. And we're going to use the G string, the third string, to tune the second string, which is a B. So again, using our music theory, we can go G, G sharp, A, A sharp, B. So I'm now on the fourth fret of my G string to give me my B. Third string, fourth fret, second string open. So now that I know my B string is in tune, I'm going to use my B string to tune my E string. So I go B, C, C sharp, D, D sharp, E. So I'm on my fifth fret, second string is an E, to tune my first string, which is an E. So second string, fifth fret is an E, first string, open string is an E. So if you're not a music theory person yet, then we go open 4 to 5th fret. The 5th fret on the 4th string gives us our 3rd string. 
we go to the fourth fret on our third string to give us our open set. We use the fourth fret on the third string to give us our open second string. It's so easy to get confused. And then we use the fifth fret on our second string to give us our open first string. And that's gone out slightly. There we go. work like I had it in my mind <laughs> anyway so now my ukulele is in tune now it might not necessarily be in concert pitch but if I'm just practicing on my own that's completely fine and then when I go to hang out with my dad or any of my other muso friends if I can't find my tuner I can either tune to them or tune to use their tuners so there you have a way to tune your ukulele by ear to itself. Now it's going to take a little bit of time to tune your ear to get used to using your ear to tune your ukulele and in fact a good way to practice this is to maybe put a string out of tune. Let me drop my so I've just dropped my third string so I know if I go to the fifth fret of my D to get my G Please don't be put off if you can't do this straight away. It does take practice. I have been doing this for a very, very, very long time. So I have tuned my ear to really be able to tell when things are in tune or slightly out. And you'll be able to do this too. It just takes practice. Now you know how to tune your ukulele by ear to itself. I hope you found this video useful. If you have, please hit the like button, hit the subscribe so you won't miss any future videos. I'm going to start introducing a little bit of music theory for baritone. So I hope to have you along for the ride and until then, happy yuking and take care.